Let's talk about wild weather. Boy, we've had it overnight and early this morning. The good news is the last real round of thunderstorms for a little while is pushing on off to the east and out of the WLKY region. Had several rounds of thunderstorms in the metro. Some of those, especially to the north and west around Paoli and a portion of Orange, Washington County, had damage reports uh, with the wind. Also, some trees and power knocked out through Clark, Floyd, uh, Oldham County. So we had some rough conditions through the overnight. Now a little bit of a lull in the activity, but look what's going on up to the north and west. There's still some showers that could turn into thunderstorms later on today that are going to be in our skies. Temperatures upper 60s and low 70s across the area. We're currently 71 in town. In your 12-hour forecast, I think we take a little bit of a dip into the upper 60s and front in the day with a little bit of sunshine to start. Then the clouds start filling back in and what will start out as low rain chances through early afternoon as highs go into the 80s around 84. Well, notice the chances for showers and thunderstorms start to pick up later in the day. That 60% chance will be scattered in nature, but I think we'll continue to see some downpours once again, especially in our later afternoon skies. Overall, our weather pattern has been an unsettled one with this frontal system, an area of low pressure, and there's more where that came from behind it. In fact, in your seven day forecast, we'll have two more solid opportunities after today for thunderstorms. It could be on the strong side. Now, tomorrow's a nice day at 87 and low humidity with lows in the 60s. We're we'll go 89 Wednesday. I think we're dry to start for a lot of the kids headed back to school on Wednesday morning. But by the afternoon, a couple of showers and storms possible, but they become more likely Wednesday night into Thursday morning and again Friday night into Saturday morning. So those are our couple of areas for impact weather with some thunderstorms. But by the weekend, especially Saturday afternoon and Sunday, we're looking drier with highs in the 80s, which is where we should be for the time of year.